The 15 memorials in the church span from 1660 to 1945 and include wall plucks of the most notable families, an ancient brass, ledger stones and rolls of honour commemorating those who died in the two world wars. The Lowther Memorial, in the classic style of black and red marble, is situated on the north side of the nave and is dedicated to James Lowther, 1855 to 1949, the first Viscount Ulswater, who was Campsey Ash's most prominent resident in recent times. He was a Member of Parliament and Speaker of the House of Commons. The south wall of the nave has monuments associated with the Shepherd family, who lived at Ash High House and were Lords of the Manor of Campsey Ash from 1654 to 1882. The grandest Shepherd Memorial commemorates the life of Frederick Shepherd, killed in action during the Napoleonic Wars at the age of just 22 years. Two identical gable-arched tablets are on either side of this monument. One is dedicated to John Shepherd, half-brother of Frederick, and the other to John Wilson Shepherd, who was the only son of John. Set in the floor of the nave, near the chancel steps, is the memorial brass of Sir Alexander English, rector of this church from 1447 to 1504. This rare brass, which depicts a priest in full canonical robes, is one of only four in Suffolk. There are three black ledger stones set into the floor of the chancel. On the left-hand side of the altar is the stone dedicated to William Glover, who was attacked and killed in Wickham Market in 1641. The Glover family built and lived at Ash High House an Elizabethan-styled mansion. The ledger to the right of the altar is dedicated to Edward Blennerhassett, patron and benefactor of the church and lord of the manor of Loudoun. Edward's sister, Elizabeth, was the wife of William Glover. The third ledger stone in front of the communion rail is the tomb of Mary, wife of John Braham, who died in childbirth in 1660. The Braham family was Lords of the Manor of Ash from the early 1600s until 1776. The family lived at Chantry House. Outside in the churchyard, close to the porch, several members of the Lowther family are buried with impressive memorial stones. Also near the chancel door is a large slab thought to cover the entrance to the Shepherd family vault. At least 16 members of the family are believed to be buried there. Elizabeth Shepherd, who died shortly after childbirth in 1772, was probably the first to be laid to rest in the vault, and John George Shepherd was the last to be buried there in 1882.